Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty and where it may be going in the near future in a year, two, three or more time because things could be switching up a little bit. In the past we have seen a pattern of uh, switching between development teams both Treyarch and Infinity Ward which gives them two years each to develop a Call of Duty game. This year we've gotten Call of Duty Ghosts from Infinity Ward. Last year we had Black Ops 2 and they switched between each other to create the new Call of Duty games. Within this video I'm going to be talking about the the fact that we could be getting Call of Duty Ghosts 2 at some point in the near future and how a development cycle and the Call of Duties that we may be seeing in the future could be switching up a little bit. So specifically starting with Call of Duty Ghosts 2, I'm going to be talking a lot about the campaign here. If you haven't played it, then beware. I am going to talk about spoilers. If you have played it, that's fantastic because you know exactly what I'm talking about. I did a complete walkthrough of it here on my channel. It was a load of fun. So to summarize very briefly, Call of Duty Ghosts is about an elite team of ghost soldiers you are one of those members, but in the past, one of the original Ghost Squad members, in fact, one of the greatest Ghost Squad members called Rourke, gets captured by the Federation, which is essentially the enemy guys within the storyline. He gets brainwashed, and he gets brainwashed and actually turned against the Ghost Squad. So Rourke goes from being one of the original Ghost members to being captured to being an enemy that's trying to then kill off all of the ghosts. So he turns into the main bad guy that you're trying to track down and kill for the whole of the game. And then right at the end, you actually land on a beach. You think everything's gone fantastically. You think you've killed him. You think you've won the day. And then unfortunately, he comes out of nowhere, breaks your arm, drags you off and says that he's going to brainwash you and make you kill all of the ghost members with him. You then get a very short clip right at the end of the game that actually shows you trapped in a cage out in some forest somewhere. And they did actually detail a little bit about Rourke's um, torturing when he got brainwashed and turned against the ghost squad. And this ending highly suggests that we're going to be seeing a Call of Duty Ghost 2 where you go from a position of being within the ghost squad to being captured and in the process of being brainwashed. Now, the reason I wanted to cover this is because if we know that Infinity Ward will be creating Call of Duty Ghosts 2, we have an idea of what their next game is going to be like, both in the multiplayer field and campaign field, which is up to you guys to decide whether or not you like that idea, whether or not you don't like that idea, and I thought I'd let you guys know that Call of Duty Ghosts 2 is a very probable game in the near future. And talking about future Call of Duties, this links in well with the possible switch up of new development teams for Call of Duty coming in. So as I said, the cycle before has always been switching between Infinity Ward and Treyarch, giving them two years to create a game. That two year time span is actually very, very short. It means they don't have a lot of time to do mass improvements. They can't change a lot of the game within that time frame. However, it is possible that we could be seeing another development team thrown into that mix, making it three development teams in total, giving these guys three years to make their Call of Duty game. And the possible team that we could be seeing thrown in is Sledgehammer Games. These guys actually helped Infinity Ward develop Modern Warfare 3. They were essentially like one of the side development teams, but since they haven't come back to help with Infinity Ward for Call of Duty Ghost, they've sort of gone under the radar a little bit. However, pieces of information have been picked up on around the internet, which suggests they are working on their own Call of Duty game. On the Sledgehammer Games website, they have shown that they are working on an ambitious new Call of Duty project. They haven't specified exactly what it is. However, a few months back now, one of the employees for Sledgehammer Games had on his link in profile that he was working on a new Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. Modern Warfare could be suggesting at the fact that Sledgehammer Games have taken over the Modern Warfare series and they could be producing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, potentially, or it's just a Call of Duty game based in the modern day era. But with all of this information together, with the possibility of Sledgehammer Games coming in and producing their own Call of Duty, what does this mean for you guys? Well, there are several options here. Either we are getting that three-year pattern that I've been talking about, giving Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and the newly Sledgehammer Games a three-year time period to produce their Call of Duty game, which should result in a higher-end Call of Duty game from all of the development studios because of that longer period they've got to develop the game. However, if you prefer one of the development studios, if you only like like Treyarch games or only like Infinity Ward games, you're going to be waiting longer for a game from that development team. On top of that, we haven't actually seen Search Hammer Games produce their own Call of Duty game. They've only ever assisted in ones. So we have no idea what type of game they'll produce. Maybe it won't be as good as Infinity Ward or 
Treyarch's game, it's a bit of a risk there. Or, with all of the hints that Sledgehammer games are working on a Call of Duty game, we could be seeing two Call of Duty titles releasing each year. We could be seeing Sledgehammer games releasing a game at the middle of 2014, filling in the gap between the releases of both of the Call of Duties from Infinity Ward and Treyarch, which is very, very interesting. Personally, I'm leaning towards the three-year cycle of the introduction of Sledgehammer Games being their own fully-fledged development studio and seeing a longer Call of Duty cycle, but at the moment it's looking very, very interesting. As I said, we've got strong hints at Infinity Ward producing Call of Duty Ghost 2 for their next release. We have strong hints at Sledgehammer Games producing their own Call of Duty title. It's very exciting and it looks like we will be getting something different in the near future when it comes to Call of Duty. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been informative. Let me know what you think of the idea of Call of Duty Ghost coming from Infinity Ward. Are you enjoying Call of Duty Ghost so far enough to play a second version of the game? And what do you think of Sledgehammer Games coming in as their own development studio and possibly producing their own Call of Duty game? So thank you very much for watching guys. On screen now you can check out a video talking about future changes that will be coming to Call of Duty Ghost. It's very exciting and also a brand new Minecraft video from my second channel over at More Alley A. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys on my next video.